Hey there, Dr. Diane Gayhart here, and I am so excited. I finally got permission to talk about my TEDx talk um, with the rest of the world. I will be doing a TEDx talk at Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario, Canada on January 27th. And the YouTube version will probably be available sometime in March. But I've had tons of questions about like, what's it like to do a, a TEDx talk and how do you get, how does that happen and all of that. And so I thought I'd throw together a, a short set of videos just kind of sharing behind the scenes what happens um, with a TED talk. So basically, um, let's see. So right now it's January uh, 2024. And around this time last year, I received an email um, from someone who had seen my YouTube channel and it said, you know, we, we saw your YouTube and we think you'd be really good um, on a TEDx stage. And it's funny, for years I've had several friends like, you belong on, you need to do a TED talk, you need to do a TED talk. And so I've always kind of had this and I was like, uh, hmm. you know, I have no idea how to make that happen. It sounds great and I'd love to do one. And, and then I got this email, I'm like, ah, oh, it's probably a scam or something like that. But, you know, I was curious because it just, they seemed to have done their research and, you know, and I looked online and they had an online course. And, you know, I teach online courses. I take a lot of online courses. And I said, hey, why not just learn how the process works, right? So I signed up for an online course, ironically or not, because that's, I do a lot of online courses myself. And it's an amazing co course. Um, and so it is Red Dot Stage, and I will put the link below, but a absolutely great course, breaks it down to five steps. You know, some of the things that really stood out for me, because I've written tons of proposals, but it is something that you either get, um, you pretty much have to write a, a proposal, or someone has to nominate you, and then you write your proposal, but it's very much like you would do for an academic um, talk as well. And so, so that like so it wasn't too intimidating. I'm like yeah yeah yeah, I've submitted proposals before, but there were a few things that were really different. One was you actually like had to practically write the speech, research it, have it all kind of put together before you could even submit um, to do a TED talk. The other thing that was really stood out for me, if you go to the you know TED.com right, you go to their website, uh, there is a list of all of the upcoming talks but there's no links about where to submit your proposal. <laughs> and so that was really surprising because in the academic world, you know, for professional conferences, it is really clear when, where, and how to submit a proposal. This is like a little, you've got to email people and find them on LinkedIn. It's like just research to figure out the secret back door for how to, to, how to get in. Um, so yeah, so that was certainly, uh, uh, one of the more surprising things. And so it's a pretty long process. I wrote this talk, but you know, I will tell you, I wrote this talk in uh, five minutes a day, which is hilarious because I talk about using my five minute time hack for wellness habits in the actual TED talk. But behind the scenes, I wrote my TED talk. I researched my TED talk five minutes a day. I started last January, five minutes a day. I do research. I've never done actually uh, academic research in five minutes a day, but that's all I had time available to write this thing. So five minutes a day, every morning I worked on this and I think I finally got all the research done, took a couple of months online. I mean, I'd have some days where I'd work longer and then I started drafting um, an actual um, talk. And, and then I realized, oh my god like the first draft just so you know was about mm, eight to ten times longer than the actual one and i had to cut and cut and boil and refine to get it down to like this four page talk because i think it started at least 20 plus pages um to really like get to the essence and so it certainly has been a journey and Lucky me, I submitted in the year, uh, I submitted in 2023, so most places hadn't had in-person uh, TED Talks for three years or more. And so it was the most competitive year ever. Just everyone's like, we're receiving three to four times more applications than usual. I'm like, oh my God. So, um, so I'm th so thankful um, and I'm so excited about Queen's U. They are the number two ranked um, TED Talk in or TEDx talk in um, Canada, and it's just really been a great experience. So anyway, that's how I uh, found my journey here, and I will continue sharing how I am getting, how I'm preparing um, for this talk. Thanks so much.